Hey guys, welcome back to Angry Mac Adventures. Today we are working on the boat trailer. So the plan is to strip it down and get it ready to be galvanized it. So there's a few things we're going to be doing to it. The mud guards, because they're just completely destroyed, full of rust. And we've got a few areas of concern to work with. So it's just starting to eat away at the metal. So we're going to grind that back and see if it's structurally damaged. If it is, we're going to fix it up and take all the roller mounts off and all the brackets and get it ready to bring it in. So stay tuned. So first things first is just dismantling the trailer, taking off all the roller brackets. There was a lot of rust, so majority of the U-bolts and a couple of the nuts were grinded off. You'll find that the safety chains will be welded downwards. Part of the new regulations is that they've got to be this way, horizontal, because if this decides to come off and this hits the floor, their theory is that this will grind back and you'll lose your trailer. So we'll cut these off and make them straight. So I was thankful that at work we had a 150 PSI sandblaster to sandblast the trailer down but uh, you can get this done through someone else, I believe it's about 200 bucks to get your whole trailer done. So we just pretty much done it ourselves, it took about 4 or 5 hours to get the whole chassis sandblasted down. The sandblaster really shows how good a condition the trailer is and there was a few areas where the rust has gone through so that's where we'll cut it out and rework it. The trailer is back from the galvanizers. It turned out absolutely mint. Really, really happy with the job. The time has come to put the trailer together. So I've had a bit of a shopping spree New jockey wheel, mud flaps, new bolts, bushes, nuts, bolts, all the brackets are now galvanized. They did a really, really nice job. Uh, I've got some zinc gal um, spray paint to paint the um, axles. So this is the dual axle that is left from the galvanizing. Just give it a bit of a prime first. It has been sandblasted. Because it's been sitting in the weather for a couple of days, it's just got a little bit of surface rust. So I'll get rid of that and uh, start the painting process. The axles and leaf springs are now coated in uh, the zinc gal. Um, we're just going to replace the bushes because they're pretty damn rooted. If you have a look at this one here, oh my god. So I've got brand new ones there. We're just going to use uh, some grease to install them. It's just a high temperature bearing grease. Nothing too fancy. Probably a little bit of an overkill, but throw them in and then we can put the uh, axle brackets on. Finally, we got it out, and that's the remains of it. So that was well overdue for a change. Here's the new one here. I'm going to put a bit of grease and uh, tap that in. So I'm just using a little bit of high temperature grease just to lubricate the bushes when I'm hammering them in. I did use a metal one here. Um, it kind of warped the side, so I ended up going to a rubber mullet, and it was a lot better.
frames now on the axles. So I've, I've got my phone. Um, I did a couple of uh, tape measures uh, to make sure that it sits in the exact same spot before I dismantled it. Bloody bird took a shit on my trailer. Oh, they say it's good luck, I guess. So I'll put that in place, clamp it down, and let's start putting the guards and rollers on. Now, next part of the trailer build is just to get the roller brackets finished. So the galvanizing um, has just filled up a couple of the holes where the split pin goes through. So I've just got myself a drill just to clear that hole. I just got a bit of um, galvanized spray or a bit of primer just to um, put in the holes because obviously I'm drilling in and uh, exposing the raw metal. So. bunch of trailer wiring harnesses out there but I've gone with the LED submergible trailer kit from Nava so the reason why I chose this is there's no splicing everything's just quick connect um, and they're all waterproof connections as well so it's essentially a plug-and-play unit uh, it comes with a five-year LED warranty uh, LEDs last forever anyway they're really good um, so that's the plan we're gonna install this and the trailer is pretty much complete, so can't wait to see it finished. Let's put this in. So the tail lights are in. Uh, they sit really, really nice. That's where. Oh yeah. It's nice to be appreciated. Thank you, Siri. Good stuff. So this is where the number plate goes, and it just plug and plays all the way down the rail. This here is where you connect the side the lights. So that there is to be mounted and runs along the chassis rail uh, up to the front. So a part of the new rules for licensing a trailer is you need white marker lights facing forward if your axle is, I believe, over 2 or 2.1 metres. So I've just got some marine grey cable, just your standard 7.5 amp from J-Car, 2-core. And I've just got these from Super Cheap. Uh, which is just your standard marker white light and I'm just gonna uh, splice it, extend the cable and then just put a waterproof plug on the end so it keeps it all nice and watertight. Just like so. Looks like it just comes straight out the factory. Beautiful. I got a brake kit, brake cable kit that we need to put in. I've got a brand new boat winch. Uh, I think it's 725 kilo, which should be fine for my boat. And we're going to be putting in those marker lights that I made up last night. So last night I finished all the wiring. I put the marker lights at the front. I've drilled the ambers at the, the side and it's looking really, really nice. So I've just jacked it up. I'm just putting it on jack stands. I've got two at the back and the jockey at the front. And when you're doing a trailer, check your bearings, make sure they're okay. Uh, the guy who did have it before me, he put brand new bearings in and brand new tires. I'm not sure if you can see that, but Usually you can tell if there's any 
uh, movement in the rim uh, is a good indication but easier just to pop the cap off have a look make sure there's no movement and uh, off you go so what I'm going to be doing is just taking the rims off and giving the hubs a bit of a clean giving the rims a bit of a paint job I'm not going to spend too much time on these because I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade these or change them in the future So I just undid all the wheel nuts and now I'm just giving it a quick brush down with a wire brush to get rid of all that surface rust uh, and anything bad I got a flapper disc on the grinder uh, and then I just gave it some prep wash, wiped it down, sprayed it with some steel primer and some cold gull. Beautiful, that looks pretty damn good. Let's uh, get on to those drum discs. So the trailer is finally complete after many hours and many weeks and I actually could not be happier. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that's helped me, you know who you are. It will be um, a list of how much we spent when the boat is complete. So I will do a section for the trailer for all of you guys that um, want to know how much it cost. But we could not be happier. So thank you so much. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that little, little episode and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>